Hey guys, Asian Flamingo here again, doing a little another late night video, you know, working on some other stuff, but I just wanted to hop on and sort of create a video on the new 5 star character, Ganyu. I know Asia servers has been out, testing has been around for a while, but after playing with her on the American servers and going into the trials and testing her out, she is a broken main or sub DPS, and I think the, the biggest thing is, uh, and she wouldn't be this broken right now if it weren't for a stealth buff that they gave her right before launch uh, which basically and you'll be seeing from the gameplay I'm showing you keeps her burst out at all times so let's let's break this down a little bit uh, so at first we kind of knew that you know she was gonna be uh, doing pretty high damage she had you know a higher a higher base damage than D Luke and so she's, she's gonna be pumping out uh, pretty good numbers but the cryo uh, element and just in general, you know, uh, main melt mun uh, main melt units people have been using right now are like Chang Yun, you know, for comps, Diona, Kaya, Chi Chi, they're they're really good, right? All of those cryo characters, you know, they all excel in their own fields. But what I think Ganyu just does on the next freaking level is the fact that her melt is constant, or not even melt. If you're doing any sort of elemental reactions. Like from you're seeing, uh, from what you're seeing in the gameplay right here, her ultimate, you know, her burst is out the entire time, and that's because uh, there's a 15 second uh, downtime and a 15 second uptime on her burst, meaning that if you get enough uh, energy recharge by the time uh, that first burst you put out is done, you'll already be able to put out the next one. So that right off the uh, right off the rip is kind of busted, okay, and. When you're looking at uh, the actual other, you know, the other talent, and, which they work really well together, it, people have been calling her, oh, Cryo Amber. Oh, ha 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 ha, Cryo Amber, la la la. Yeah, she's doing the same thing basically with her uh, her elemental skill, which is a uh, trail of uh, Chi Lin, or Chi Ling, you know, however, you want, uh, however it's pronounced. And basically, w what's really good about this is because since you're not really worrying too much about uh, micromanaging, uh, when you're putting out skills, because you can just put these both out at the same time, and you're going to get enough energy back to just put her burst out, and you can have both of her skills out the entire time. She does like a back dodge, and all of a sudden, you put out your Celestial Shower, which is her burst. It's going down in AoE, and if you put down her elemental skill, they're all being drawn into that circle. So if you land them right on top of each other, which you're going to be seeing me do uh, consistently throughout this video, they're, they're going one right on top of each other, and... Having that, uh, the sort of, you know, decoy skill that Trail of uh, Chiling uh, does, you're going to be hitting your icicles no matter what. And I know a concern was when she first came out, uh, you know, the icicles, they're not really landing, you know, like they're random. They're landing so frequently, it doesn't matter. And just as an added bonus, when you're actually in uh, the area, you're, uh, you're actually... Uh, you get a cryo damage boost. I'm pretty sure I'm actually looking at it right now uh, Striking opponents within an AoE and dealing cryo damage. So that's just for the spears actually um, So sorry about that. I'm actually going all over the place right here So I don't know if exactly if you get a cryo boost. Oh, you do. Okay. Yeah with her for her for uh, one of her talents um, Celestial shower grants 20% cryo damage bonus to active party members in the AoE so uh, my, my biggest takeaway out of this character right now is the constant cryo effect being put on to enemies in the circle as long as you have celestial shower up and you're you're putting down our elemental skill to pull them in there the amount of energy recharge you can be getting is it's it's exponential just because purely if you're running if you have good energy recharge on your team you'll have her burst uh, no doubt and a lot of the other characters in your party you know that you know you're you're uh, uh let's say you're doing like a melt comp with d luke They'll go great with her because unlike with Chang Yun where you have to do auto attacks, you don't have to worry about that. She's she's doing her own thing. She's putting down cryo and all of a sudden you're getting two times damage. So I want to go into really uh, quickly some possible um, uh, artifact sets. So my first one that I'm really curious uh, in exploring is a two-piece, uh, the new two-piece uh, cryo set with a two-piece two-piece no, uh, noblesse oblige and this is mainly because you're doing a, a good amount of damage just because like i said you know she does have a higher base attack than normal um and so you'll be doing uh good good damage with her icicles right um 
I would say two piece noblesse, two piece uh, cryo set because you're you're having that burst out at all times basically. So why not have that extra twenty or fifteen percent? I think it's twenty maybe uh, damage bonus going on at all times. And on top of that, you're gonna be doing fifty percent more cryo damage. You know they go hand in hand. You're gonna be doing phenomenal damage. I'm thinking because uh, from, just from the uh, gameplay that you know you're seeing, you know I'm hitting around you know five k, eight k. You know it, it's going around, but. Uh, and those, by the way, you can find that in the clear pool domain and the domain right at the top of the Dragon Spine Mountain. Another uh, good set, uh, obviously, would just be the four set um, uh, cryo set, uh, you know, just for reactions, crit, you know, it'll be really well. And the subsets that I really think you should be aiming for, um, because you obviously, uh, for the goblet, you want uh, cryo, cryo damage bonus, just because, you know, why not? I would, I would really emphasize and... You know, n not to say if she's your main DPS, maybe. Um, never mind. I, I would say just just crit and attack mostly, just because she's probably you know you're probably using cryo to set up, you know, because like th there are a lot of electro and pyro main DPSs in the game, so you won't, you don't want to give her too much elemental mastery. But just 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 as a side note, just those noblesse and cryo set, and you know m maybe even like two piece glad, two piece cryo, two piece noblesse. Two piece cryo, uh, four piece cryo. There's there's a lot of options here, but the biggest the, the biggest thing is just how much constant damage you'll be doing, and that, that's the biggest point I wanted to drive home uh, with this video. And you know, she's a phenomenal sub DPS just because you're always putting out uh, her skills. And if you have her as a main DPS, you know, let's say if you're giving her, um, and the one thing I forgot to touch on is her is her charge shot. So there's two levels to it, obviously. Uh, it, it, it's kind of cool. Uh, I'm, I'm not I'm not that big on it because I think her elemental skill and burst are just that much better but I think uh, you know when you strike the ground or strike an enemy you know it shoots out you know other ice arrows which is very effective by the way um, it's you know it, it gets a little bit dwarfed by the other things she can be doing as a sub DPS as a main DPS I think it's huge you know you'll, you'll be doing some really great uh, cryo damage on people but um, uh, that, that's all I really have to uh, put out there, you know, for this video. I think um, I'll be... Uh, I pulled for Al uh, Albedo. Uh, he's a great character. I uh, wish I could pull for Ganyu, though, because she's so good. I think yeah, th this, this, is a, this is a really big game changer. She's broken as a sub and main DPS. So, you know, you guys should really, uh, if you got the Prime items for it, pull for her. Uh, she'll make a great addition as a Cryo. I think... Sh sh she has a really easy time, at least for me, looking at her, replacing my Chang Yun and my uh, Melt Comp, only because, you know, uh, I'm using Diluc, you know, you know, auto attacks. She's always putting out the Cryo. It's always up. It's, it's never not up, you know, like, like as you're seeing in the gameplay. So I think, um, really consider those artifact sets. I would say a good weapon that, uh, to use, or weapons as well, uh, the Favonius Warbow. Uh, I saw, you know, just for like a sub DPS, get some energy recharge, even the sacrificial bow, but like, you know, that's not as much, uh, stringless is really good as well. I mean, your elemental skill won't be doing as much damage as the burst. Um, your, your best option will probably be Skyward Harp, but you know, that's only if you've wailed a good bit. Rust would probably be all right, I guess, but, um, I will say stringless, stringless Favonius War Bow, and maybe sacrificial for like free to play. And then Skyward Hype, if you've got the, if you've got the, you know, if you actually, if you actually have it. Because just because getting crits on these will be really nice for some added damage. But all in all, phenomenal character and busted as heck just because of this new uh, buff that they gave her. So uh, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm probably going to make a more in-depth guide, you know, on builds for her and whatnot. But have fun pulling people and, you know, uh, thanks for tuning in. Please, you know, if you want... Drop a like, follow, uh, subscribe, whatever. Anything helps. Gets me actually motivated to do these vids. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you found this helpful.